Welcome back to our mainframe automation tutorials. So as part of this series, we left off in the last video with a very linear model. And in this one, we're gonna start showing you how using different components of Test Modeler, uh, we can start to vary some of these details. So on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got various uh, things that we can do. So we've got various tasks, various conditions um, that we want to apply different logic into this particular model. So for example, um, I've actually got a couple of different users that I can uh, log into uh, my mainframe application with. So I'm going to put a condition, uh, and my condition is going to be really straightforward. Um, it's going to be uh, around the uh, user login, and we'll capture a screenshot up here. And we're going to change that. Uh, going to put in here uh, our demo and let's make that a little bit clearer. It's gonna be our demo user. And then up here, it's gonna be our demo user password. Go and capture a screenshot. Um, and then we're also then just gonna copy this, demo2 user. And just copy and paste stuff here using keyboard commands, so really easy to use. And so on and so forth. Now, we're gonna update the parameter here. So demo2 and uh, demo2. And if I log into my mainframe doing that, I'll actually get um, a different type of mainframe depending on, on the use that I log in. So in this case, previously we obviously only had one path, one use case, one test case that we can use. Now we've got two, so we're going through this in two different ways. Um, we'll go and run this automation code. So, um, and again, as last time, uh, we've got a code template in the background that's being picked up. It's looking at those data variables that I've put in, demo, demo2, etc. Um, and then we're gonna actually going to go through each of these steps, as we can kind of see. We're going to go and run two tests. Um, and then, again, we can go and sync that into Git or so on and so forth. So if we come in and have a look at our test results now, we will see that... 11.15, we've got our user run, and if we come in and look at our demo application to start with, so this is the one that we did last time, come in and see the details that occur, you know, let's go into the login post, so this is post login, right, so this is where we've now got into our system with various bits, and if we go and look at our other, so our demo2 section here, and come over the logs, we'll see that we've actually logged into a slightly different looking system, okay? So uh, I would recommend you go through, make some modifications in terms of some of the logic you want to play with. Next, we're actually gonna look at the testing of that login process in more details. So you, hopefully this gives you an idea for the UI, how you can drag, drop, copy, and paste, those sorts of things. Next up, we're gonna have a look at how very quickly we can put some logic in to make our testing even better. 